platform I go by the name the creative expat and thank you for stopping by so today is the 19th of what month is it 19th of September and I haven't picked up my camera since I don't know when um, because really there hasn't been much that's been going on in terms of you know this dental situation uh, but today after work, I will be going in for the surgery, I guess. I don't know what else to call it. Um, yeah, so what the procedure is today is to start with the implant process. So I thought that I would start a new vlog, you know, from the implant process, healing, and then eventually getting my implants done and eventually being a normal person again. Uh, so... What's gonna happen today? Today, I'm gonna go to the dentist after work. They're going to pull out some teeth, two teeth. Um, they're going to put in the screws for the, for the teeth that I will be getting. And then they're going to put in some fake bone as well because I lost a lot of bone in this area and yeah then i will have to sit for i don't know i'm gonna have to sit a couple of days without teeth because they're gonna have to make false teeth for me which i'll be wearing um for three months i'll be wearing for three months so that will be october november december i guess mid december um yeah i'll be wearing those for three months in order for the screws to kind of heal into my face or whatever and the fake bone to heal as well before they put in the sculptured teeth so i'll be wearing false teeth which i'm pretty stoked about because then i will be able to be a normal person and like smile and talk to people and you know go on some dates <laughs> i haven't been out in on in the dating world or tried to meet anyone since the accident and that was like june so yeah girl is a little rusty i'm looking forward to meeting new people again and stuff like that so the false teeth i'll be wearing for the next three months um whilst i wait for everything to heal and stuff like that i'll probably be going to the dentist often yet again so exhausting but i'm really excited i'm really happy that i'm finally starting this process properly um yeah so i'm gonna be going with my boss later on i'm not gonna be able to vlog the process i think because it will be so uncomfortable me vlogging in front of my boss also i don't want her to know i have a youtube channel <laughs> um but i will come back when i'm back at home if i can talk um i will come back and speak to y'all and let y'all know what's what in the zoo i had wanted to go to the gym today i for totally forgot that i have to go do my teeth so i'm not gonna go to the gym today unfortunately but yeah i will speak to you guys soon and let you guys know how everything went because I won't be able to vlog while my boss is next to me. I will feel so uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, chat to you guys soon. I am literally shitting my pants, guys. I am so scared right now. You have no idea. Because the pain of the booth is going to be mad. Yo. So yiki. So yiki, but let's go. I don't know if y'all can hear me but i got a care pack from my dentist um 
Let's see what's in there. Okay, this is my medication. This is the thousands of rules that they gave me. The most important rule here is that I cannot drink for the next two weeks. I cannot smoke. I don't smoke anyway. I cannot gym for the next week. Uh, I obviously can't touch my face or whatever, all of that stuff. But yeah, those two are very important. I can't drink. You see the, the stuff. It says I can't drink or smoke. And uh, somewhere down there it says I can't gym. And I just signed up for the gym. Great. They gave me like a toothpaste situation. Yo, oh, the pain is coming. Listen. Uh, wet wipe tissue. More wet wipe. Uh, ice pack. I have to put an ice pack on my face. I need to put this in the fridge, actually. Yeah, ice pack. Because I'm all types of swollen. And then this, because the bleeding w won't stop anytime soon. So I have to put this back after I take a shower. And, um, yeah. That's that. Those are the things I got. I'm about to take a shower. And I will speak to you guys tomorrow. I have a dentist appointment tomorrow, so... about what happened at the at my surgery um on monday so today is saturday and i thought you know what let me just come on here and just uh let you guys know about what exactly happened and how i am recovering at the moment so what's been going down what happened that day is that maybe i should close this window <coughs> okay so what happened that day um is that i went in on monday after work um the procedure took about an hour um what they did is so i had one big tooth right i didn't have another tooth and then this tooth next to the missing tooth was half and so during the the month the three months period from june till now we were trying to see if we could save these teeth so that i just get one implant instead of two and then a crown for these teeth <coughs> excuse me but unfortunately these teeth they were not able to save them um my dentist said that they would only kind of work for a year and then after a year i would have to take them out and get an implant so i had to make a decision of whether to do that process now or do that process after a year so i'm like you know what let's just do it all right now um so that i'm able to adjust to the new me you know sooner so yeah um what happened is that i went in at the dentist I was shit scared. I was shitting my pants. I was so scared. Um, but yeah, I made it fine. But anyway, so I went in. Uh, they cleaned my teeth. Then they put numb shots, numb shots, so that obviously I'm numb. And then they moved me to the operation room. I went to the operation room and in the operation room they <coughs> excuse me they uh then proceeded to pulling out my teeth oh 
they proceeded to pulling out my teeth after pulling out my teeth they then um put in a fake bone because like i said i lost a lot of bone so they put in bone after putting in the bone they closed it and then oh they put in the screws after that they stitched me up uh that whole procedure took about an hour uh yeah they took me up about an hour so they apparently they can only take you under if your procedure is over two hours so because my procedure wasn't over two hours i was wide awake it was just they put they numbed me quite a bit but also during the procedure i was starting to feel stuff so i had to ask them to numb me again so i don't even know how many numb shots i got it felt like twenty thousand because it was so painful um but yeah the operation was a success everything went well um i was obviously swollen and all of that stuff i uh, got medication and then went home went home as i'm going home the numb shot is starting to wear off so it was starting to become very 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 painful i got home took my painkillers made something to eat and then took the antibiotics um after that and like i was this close to not going to work the next morning um yeah because i was in so much pain we will talk about the work culture in korea on an in on another day but yeah a person works in this country the only time you do not work is when you are dead um but yeah so i went in and what am i saying <laughs> um yeah i i eventually went to work the next day because um i had a lot of admin and stuff that i needed to do i know i should have stayed at home but anyway um yeah so i had been swollen for like two days the next day i, I went to the doctor to the dentist because he said i must come in the next day just to check um if i didn't touch anything during my sleep or anything like that ah oh, speaking of my sleep guys the amount of blood that was on my pillow i'm sorry if it's too much information but the amount of blood that was on my pillow in the morning crazy so crazy but he did say that like i would bleed quite a bit because it was a big procedure and you know my gums are sensitive at the moment and all of that stuff so it would be like a two day they also gave me like an ice pack um like how i showed you guys in the package and so yeah the ice packs did help quite a lot uh yeah i had to change my beddings i had to wash my stuff and everything like that because yeah it, it was a bloodbath on that pillow okay <laughs> wild um but yeah i'm all good now um so during that consultation he then told me that um the next step would be to get the false teeth because obviously i'm not going to be walking around like this for the next three months or however long it takes for my um for the bone and the screws and everything to heal um so i can't get the teeth the implants put in without everything healing right so in the meantime i need to get false teeth because i don't have three teeth at the moment hence i'm wearing my mask um i look interesting and i have like <laughs> stitches just like moving around in my mouth crazy um so yeah he said that um they will remove the stitches when i come back i'm going back on monday um they will remove the stitches then do the molding for my fake teeth um for my false teeth and then yeah then sometime during the week i i should be getting my false teeth he had said i must wait 10 to 2 10 days to 2 weeks before coming back i looked at him and then he was like okay okay come on monday because it was what tuesday he's like come on monday it would have been seven days um you should be good for us to try and get you uh to make you your teeth i'm like yes sir there is no way i am suffering like this there is no way i am 
walking around with no teeth having to eat on my own because i don't want people to see me you know all of that it's so isolating it's so isolating like ah i know my friends are amazing people they're great people but i'm so self-conscious at the moment and i don't want people to see me they've already had to see me with one tooth and one tooth missing and one chipped tooth you know i don't want to continuously put my friends and people in my life through the trauma of looking at me in all these different phases of this process so i've just decided that i'm just gonna self-isolate for the next two weeks until i get my teeth um yeah because i just i don't want to traumatize people anymore that i already have um and i'm very quite self-conscious at the moment unfortunately um so yeah i've just been on my own uh, i will continue to be on my own until i get my teeth done um on monday and then obviously get my teeth put in sometime i don't know hopefully thursday friday next week crossing fingers i will let you guys know i will obviously pull through with the new grills <laughs> yeah but um i will i did want to maybe make a video about the costs of everything um it will probably be a separate video where i speak about how much everything costs me and the procedures and all of that stuff um just to help somebody out there maybe who maybe would like to get an implant or who finds their self themselves in such a situation as myself um but I hope nobody ever, ever experiences what I experienced because, wow, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. It, this has been life changing. This has been life, life changing. But yeah, I just wanted to come in here and let you guys know. Um, I know I've spoken quite a lot right now, but I needed to let you guys know about the process as, as to how everything went. Um, everything went fine. I'm fine. I'm doing so much better. Um, I'm very much hopeful. Um, I'm so glad that this process has finally started properly. Um, and that um, Monday is just around the corner. I'm going to go and my dentist better, better not give me some bad news because I'm taking care of myself. I'm guggling, I'm brushing the little teeth that I have left. I am doing everything he told me to do so that when I go back, he doesn't have to tell me that we have to wait another week something something needs to heal because lord if that man tells me i have to wait another week to heal something i don't know i'm going to lose it i'm gonna go buy grills at the local shop there by camp humphreys and go buy me some grills because what am i doing <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I will speak to you guys on Monday after the whole thing and let you guys know what ha what happened and if we were successful, crossing fingers, please pray for me. Obviously, by the time I post this, it would have all been over, but please pray for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll speak to you guys soon. my false teeth i am so so nervous i'm going to ask my dentist if i can shoot take a video of myself reacting oh shoot people are coming to the lift <laughs> anyway anyway it turns out nobody came into the lift but yeah i'm gonna ask my dentist if i can take a video of myself reacting to me getting my new teeth or whatever he's about to take out my stitches and then yeah and then after that i have to go back to work it's so wild this thing hey of, of korea anyway chat soon bye oh my god Oh my 
god. Wow. Hey guys. I got new teeth. Look. Look. Can you see? I just it feel it feels so weird. I don't know how to talk. It feels so weird. I don't know how to talk. I don't have big teeth anymore. Like we'll proper examine when I get back home because I have to go back to work now. But I don't have big teeth anymore. <laughs> Guys, my bunny teeth are gone. Oh my goodness. This is so wild. My bunny teeth are gone. What? Look at that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna go to work now and I will speak to you guys soon. I can't believe I'm talking out in public. I'm so used to hiding my face that I don't know how to talk now. This is so weird. Anyway, guys, um, I'll speak to you when I get home. Cheers. <laughs> okay, guys, so I am back in my apartment. I don't know how to talk with this thing in my mouth. I don't know how to talk. I don't know how to talk. So, yeah, I got my teeth done, as you guys saw. And now I'm saying sure and not so, 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 so. I got my teeth done as you guys saw. Um, yeah, it's weird. It's really, really weird. Um, shame. I feel like they tried their best to make, you know, like the gum part of the false teeth to look as dark pink as possible. Because obviously I'm dark skinned, so there's a lot of like brownness and stuff around here in my gums so they tried shame to make it you know blend in with the rest of my gums i really really think that they tried the one thing that i am not used to is that these teeth are so small i naturally have bunny teeth right so my teeth my two front teeth they used to like hang pretty low like they were really big so now these teeth are like so small and that is my only concern at the moment is that once I get like the the implants, like the real real teeth, are they going to be the small? And I feel like when I go for my consultation again um, in three weeks, that will be on the 25th of October, is a conversation that we're going to need to have. I cannot have such small teeth like they are so small like look look at that so small they're like little look what why are they so why are they so small anyway what do y'all think do i look normal i feel like i look okay i feel like I can get away with it for the next couple of weeks or whatever long months they say I'll have to stay with these teeth for. Um, so firstly, he told me that my gums are healing very well. Oh, before that, they took out the stitches. Oh my goodness. That was painful. And it wasn't my doctor that took out the stitches. It was like the assistant. I don't know what they are called in the dentist world. She took out my stitches and her hand is quite rough. And it was like painful. Because I had a stitch like stuck in my gum. Like when I was eating, I could like feel it. Um, I was wondering how is this lady going to take it out? She literally just used some plier thing to pull it. Whoa! It was painful. It was very painful. And she's like, chukum, chukum. Pain in Korea. All I heard was like, it will be a little painful. That's what I, I, I put together. 
hey it was not a little painful it was quite painful because they were like i think i had about six stitches in mm. i said six something like that between six and twelve corner lap um so yeah um i guess everything was successful he said the procedure was successful the surgery was successful um my gums are healing well he said um everything is going fine so i'm gonna go back on the 21st of october like i said which is a tuesday and then he's just gonna check up on my gums and see how everything is going and then tell me how much longer will i have to sit with these false before i get the rest of the stuff um the real real teeth um yeah what else happened ah he told me that i need to take them out when i eat <laughs> he said that i can't i shouldn't use them quite often only obviously when i'm around people uh because uh my screws are very close to the to the false teeth so it's kind of gonna get in like an irritation of some sort and stuff like that so i mustn't push the teeth too far in and i mustn't wear them too much so if i'm on my own i can take them off i should take them off if i'm eating on my own i should eat without but obviously if i'm eating in public drinking in public i'm it's okay for me to use them uh but i must try to use them as less as i possibly can which is fine for me because I'm used to myself without the teeth. I mean, I'm fine with it. So it's just obviously when I'm out in public and I'm within people that I need to, um, yeah, look presentable. Like, as I was walking home, I'm so used to having my mask on. Um, it was so weird not to have my mask on whilst I was walking. Yeah, sometimes I... I take off my mask because i'm walking alone it's not like i'm gonna talk to anyone and i'm listening to music or whatever so yeah it was very very weird i'm still going to have to try and get used to it oh when i came back because i went to the dentist while i was at work i had I got two free periods so i went to the dentist because he's like a five minute walk from work shout out to my boss for choosing a dentist close to work like that's the best decision she ever made for me um because it makes everything so much easier so yeah i went in and out from work when i came back and i'm um, talking to my colleagues everyone like in the office when we're in the staff room people take off their mask i was the only one that always had her mask on so now sitting there without my mask on was just like so weird i'm still very conscious about these teeth because they're not my normal size teeth so i feel like i look weird i don't look too bad right now i feel like i'm gonna get used to them but when i had them on for the first time i was just like oh my god this does not look like me this is not me at all but because i'm so used to my big ass teeth but anyway um i'll get used to them and um yeah i can finally drink i can finally drink i can finally get a, a drink like i would like to get a drink but i'm not going to drink because i am currently on my way to the gym i haven't been to the gym properly in about in about um how long in about two weeks because last last the first week last last of last week the week before last i obviously couldn't go because of the procedure and then this past week i didn't go because my menstrual pains were having me i had only gone on monday so i want to go now today uh but i just thought i should come in here and just let you guys know what's going on a whole eight minute long but that's fine um i guess the next time i'll chat to you guys is after my consultation on the 25th and let you know what's what what did my dentist say and all of that maybe i will take a couple of videos of me outside you know rocking my new tees <laughs> let me not do that because that looks weird but yeah 
It's not bad, eh? It's not bad. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, but yeah, speak to you guys soon. Bye-bye. to go guys because i only have like seven minutes now till oh till the big big thing so yeah i'm at the dentist Nervous as shit. So nervous. Yes. some feedback as to what went down at the dentist so sorry i had initially thought that today i guess also i was not applying my brain cells i don't know i had initially thought that today i am going to get my teeth implanted well the implants are in there so i was gonna get the the, the crowns and whatever installed and stuff but today was not that day today was yet another disappointment in this process i don't know 
oh, I'm tired. But basically what they did today is um this tooth here, the one here, is a crown. They filed down my tooth. I look like, you know, those people when they're getting veneers and they file their teeth down to like very small. Yeah, so they filed down that tooth because they needed um, those pieces of my teeth to make the other teeth. I don't know what he was saying, but he needed this, some of this tooth to make the other teeth the same. Um, let me blow my nose. sorry he needed some of this tooth to make the other teeth the same what are the color and all of that stuff so he took some of that tooth they made a temporary crown a temporary crown can you see it's a fake also it's fake they made a temporary town town crown and then um they made a a model whatever what do they do what is the word that they used i'm so tired of these dentist terminologies an impression they made an impression they got an impression of my teeth my gums and everything so that they are able to make the the crowns and stuff like that so that's what they did today and um they will be available on the 9th of january I'm going on vacation yet again with no teeth. <sighs> so great. I'm going on a solo vacation. Um, yeah, so that's what happened today. It took about two hours. I was at that dentist for two hours. Um, so, yeah, that's it really. There's nothing more I can share. Um, I'm just going to like sleep it off you know i'll speak to my friends later because we were all under the impression that today was the d the d day so it's a bit disappointing and so i just need to sleep it off because i'm not happy about it um i'm done being disappointed and sad because i've just had like disappointment after disappointment that i'm just like numb to everything still so yeah i'm just going to sleep it off and see how i feel when i wake up but yeah i guess i will come back here again in the next two weeks because i'm going back on the 9th of january so i think i'll be back again in the next two weeks i'll see you guys then <sighs> i'm tired of this hong kong yes <laughs> sorry that's gross but um Part of the process isn't it so i just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what it looks like because uh, i can't i don't want to show you everything nah, it's not good not good not good at all okay guys see you in the next two weeks bye welcome to the vlog hi guys today is my final day of my tooth situation um, this is the last time you'll be seeing these fakies. Take a good look because when I come back, I'm going to be having my my teeth teeth. Um, yeah, today is the what? Ninth? Ninth of um, January. January. My appointment is at half past six. It's six o'clock. So let's go guys hopefully we don't get disappointed yet again but i have faith huh i have faith that um it will go okay so yeah guys let's go get our teeth finally <sighs> it's wild it's been wild it's been a wild journey chat to you guys bye I'm mad nervous. I think I even have like the nails poop. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm currently at all of young because like I'm early. But I'm gonna head out now and go upstairs. <sighs> Wish me luck. I hope I look nice. <laughs>
my support squad on daily. <laughs> So black, eh? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I need a dog. A nervous back. <laughs> I want my Bobby. As I said, I want to write down for two minutes. I don't want to look at the camera right now. I just want to capture. I want to look when they tell me I want to look. So that's why I'm not looking at the camera. <laughs> Just capturing. <laughs> Celebrating what, man? Your beautiful new <laughs> Eve, hey! And what, what time are, we are we going home? What are you? I'm going, I'm going home at 12 o'clock because I have work tomorrow. 12 o'clock, are you sure? Are we sure? Listen, we'll we'll get back to you on that, huh? Okay. How cute! What am I drinking? What are you drinking? I have no idea. Oh, wait. It's a midi sour. What are you drinking? What's that? What's that? What's that? Cheers to my teeth. Cheers to your teeth. Cheers to this very long and hard journey. There we go. Um, mm -hmm. It's been emotional. Mm -hmm. But I will give you guys an update after a month. How it's been with these bad boys. Uh -huh. But yeah. Listen, if this angle is bad, I'm so sorry. We've been drinking, <laughs> you know. We had the so mix. Yes. Now we're moving on to the cocktails because we're a little bit litty. Yes. So yeah, I will. I will come back and I'll update you guys. Stay tuned, y'all. Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, I just got back home from my celebratory drink. Um, with Chelsea, my baby sister. Um. Yeah. So I just got back home and. I'm not gonna end my vlog here about the implants. I, I think I will wait until like my um, one month um, checkup because I have to go again in February. So I will wait again until the 6th of February before I close this vlog officially um, about my implants and stuff. But I can't believe this is me right now. I can't believe I finally have my teeth. And I feel like I look so much more different because like my bunny teeth were like obviously longer and stuff like that. So yeah, it's gonna take a while for me to adjust to the new me. But I think the false teeth helped because they were smaller, like I kept on complaining. And then I got used to it and I looked at other people and I'm like, actually, this is like normal people teeth. I had really big teeth. 
<laughs> you know um so yeah i'm so grateful that this whole experience was a success i was extremely emotional um after the procedure um i tried to hold it in when i was at the clinic not at the clinic at the dentist um but the minute we stepped out i just cried because it's been a really hard seven months since june june the 6th i found june the 6th it's been a really hard seven months and so i can't believe that it's practically over it's basically over i just obviously have my last checkup and stuff like that but like it's done i'm a normal person again and I, and i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i don't know how to feel uh, but I'm externally grateful. Um, but yeah, I'll go in deeper into that uh, when I close off my vlog, this vlog. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm safe and I'm okay. And I'm very grateful for Chelsea. I'm very grateful for Aisha also for coming with me to the dentist on my last appointment and sitting with me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I appreciate it so 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 very much um yeah but you want to see the teeth hey <laughs> this is so weird <sighs> so weird anyway uh we'll speak again in a month after i go for my final checkup hopefully it's my final checkup um yeah i'll see you guys then bye <laughs> hello good people hello vlog uh -oh. i am a little tired of vlogging about this teeth yeah but anyway today i'm going to go for a checkup for my teeth um it's been a month since i got these bad boys um so we're going to check if everything is okay the crown kind of went loose so i think they need to put more super glue or whatever it is that they super put <laughs> They must put more super glue because I don't. I ate a gummy bear and then that thing came out and I was like, whoop. So I'm not allowed to eat chewy sweets, really. But yeah, let's go, let's go and see what they say. Later. Oh, she's coming with me, isn't she? Yeah. Only because it's a short consultation. Yes. Sis. Sis. <laughs> Bye. He did the things she was learning. I'm tired of the seat. Eight months of sitting here. I'm sick and tired. Sick and tired of the seat. We're all good. <laughs> Goodbye. It's been nice. Oh. I don't want to see you again. Yeah. Ever. Bye bye. We need to that. Hey guys. Um, I just got back home from the dentist now. Um, yeah, as you saw, that was my very, very last consultation. It's been a very wild, wild journey. Um, shoot. I don't even know how I made it this far. I guess it's been God's grace. Um, the prayers from the people that have been carrying me these past eight months. I just want to say thank you so much to my friends and some of my family members that knew what was going on with me, uh, which was not many. Because, you know, I don't want to stress anyone back at home. There's nothing anyone can do for me, really. So... I kind of just carried this thing by myself and with my friends um, so yeah I just want to say thank you so much to all of the friends that have been there for me throughout this journey it's been really hard um, but having you guys praying for me um, some of you coming with me to the dentist 
has really held me down um, and I know my friends back at home would have done anything and everything to be there for me during this period but obviously they couldn't but all your prayers um, are greatly appreciated uh, I love you guys so much ah, I, I, I don't know how I would have gone through this period without all of you um yeah last year was depressing i was a depressed babe <laughs> i was a depressed babe that was going through everything at the same time literally everything um but i think i will make a separate video i don't know if i mentioned this before because i've been vlogging this for the past eight months for the past eight months i've been vlogging this whole situation but anyway, I'm going to make a separate video about the costs of everything about getting an implant in South Korea. If anyone needs that type of information, if anyone is interested, I will do a separate sit down just to let you guys know um, how much I paid throughout the process. I'm going to try and remember um, how, when, because I didn't pay it all at once. Um yeah and obviously like consultations weekly consultations and that was more money well uh -uh, this whole thing is so much money but look at that look at that smile guys fuck <laughs> i'm sorry for swearing but damn wow they did an amazing job i need to get an implant here also because that tooth rotted. I'm sorry. I know you keep focusing and then I keep moving and then become dark and light. But yeah, look at that smile. Okay, focus again now. Blair, I'm here. As I wait. Yeah, I mean, look at the smile. Ah, so freaking beautiful. Um, I count myself very blessed. Uh, very lucky ah, this whole situation has taught me so much about myself um, it's taught me so much about myself I've grown so much throughout this terrible incident throughout this terrible time and I couldn't be more grateful for the person I've come out of this being you know I've grown so much uh, my mental capacity, my emotional intelligence, how I handle things, how I handle people now is completely different from the fall. So I guess this whole thing was just some sort of wake up call in my life, you know? Um, yeah. I'm happy now. Well, yeah, I'm very happy now. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this vlog. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hey, well, that's the end of this vlog. Um, I will speak to you guys soon, and I will give you guys the details of how much it costed, costed, how much it cost for me to get my teeth done, and all the shandies that has to do with money and time and all of that stuff, like the information. But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Always remember to stay true to who you are and always, always choose kindness. I will see you guys in the next one.